Electronics in the UK and Julia Moses from Worth Elec Electronics Australia uh, to showcase the EMI debugging demo uh, based on Worth uh, uh, EMC demo boards, uh, power supplies from Roden Shorts and our latest MX04 oscilloscope. So yeah, uh, to begin the demo, I would like to invite Glenn to brief about the experimental setup or the demo setup. So what we have here is a uh, good design, bad design of a boost converter. So it's normally running about 300 kilohertz switching frequency. So we've got an input voltage of 19 volts and we're boosting up to 24 volts. That will go through to our electronic load. So I'll be drawing around about 420 milliamps off of that. What we're doing is actually hooking the, uh, our demo board up to a CISPA 25 Lizen. So this has been developed in partnership with Worth Electronics and Roden Schwartz. So what makes this Lizen slightly different it, uh, compared to what's on, typically on the market is it has dual output. So basically we can measure both in effect like live and neutral line or positive and zero volt line. The benefit with this coupled with things like the MX04 is that what we can actually separate out uh, is both uh, is from a conducted emissions plot both the common mode noise and differential mode noise. So by using this Lizen we can help identify when, when types of solutions are, are applicable and this is partly what we're going to be doing today. So what we'll start off is our bad design. So I'll switch on, or hopefully if I'm doing this right, switch on the power supply. And I'll now set the load to draw the 420 milliamps. What we can now see on the screen, so we've basically we've got in time domain, so we're actually measuring the noise coming, being conducted through the power supply into the lizard being extracted off channel, uh, let's have a look, probably channel A. We can now see in the time domain and the reciprocal in the frequency domain. So we look at things like conducting emissions, so from nine kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So yeah, if I was a design engineer, I might not be keeping my job too well because I've got all these harmonic noise running through. So this is basically now my noise source. And what I want to do is now implement a in effect what a good design looks like so what we what do we mean by a good design so we've got a second uh, second circuit on the board that i'll now switch in and this will have uh, improvements to things like common mode chokes differential mode filtering better layout and what we can now see it will be the end result so let me just power this down switch it over to a good design power back up and set my emissions so if you now look on the screen we can actually see in the time domain we have virtually suppressed all of that noise that was coming off the bad design and say so this is implementation of things like combo choke better layout we can see the resultant conducted emissions has significantly dropped we've probably dropped it down by about 20 to 30 dbs in, in certain frequencies so that's that what i can now also do is go a step further and introduce a secondary common mode choke and differential mode filter on on its input so let me just power this down. Okay, so I switched it back onto the bad design and my output is on. So what we can actually see is we've got a reference versus our current at the moment. So basically what we have is this particular new board that we've now introduced has a mains rated common mode choke. So it's made of manganese and core material. So this will typically operate around about sort of nine kilohertz up to probably about one to two megahertz in frequency, along with a X capacitor. So this will be doing some more low frequency filtering. Whereas when I now, if I now power it down and switch in the, the good design as well as, so in effect, I've now got a two stage EMI filter. What we've got is the reference trace. And now we've got the real time measurement along with both the filters and we can see that we have now significantly attenuated any of the EMI noise that's now being conducted from that bad design through to the Lizen and then being measured on the MX04. So once again we're just trying to show a very practical demonstration here coupled with Roden Schwartz's equipment how you can do at a bench level DC power supply filtering 
on a noisy source. Thank you.